Hello friends, Ben Ochart here. Thank you so much for tuning in. And today I want to talk with you about auto feeders. I'm about to go on a um, short trip to go visit my friend James Largo at the Cichlid Shack and uh, do a tour of his new, newly rebuilt facility and take a look at all the great things he's done there. So stay tuned for that. Uh, it should be coming uh, to you live in the live stream on the 4th. That's June 4th, Saturday, June 4th at 11 a.m. Pacific time. But in preparation for that, I need to consider who's going to take care of my fish, who's going to feed my fish. And normally what I do is I just leave little baggies behind with um, a measured amount of food and a date on each baggie on top of each aquarium. So it makes it uh, very foolproof and uh, very simple to feed the fish. But I have considered an auto feeder and a company um, called uh, A-O-Y-A-R, A-O-Y-A-R, A-O-Y-A-R. <laughs> I think they're a division of Rayfo, and I think it's a company out of China like so many of these companies are these days. Uh, they sent me a, um, a nice little unit and I'll show it to you. It's very, very light. It doesn't seem to have really much weight to it. And you can see, you can see the unit here. And it has a very simple attachment that you would attach to the, to the um, frame of your aquarium, right? Or you can, I believe you can, if you're not gonna use this little vise right here, that, that clamps down. You can actually remove this and and lay it lay the entire unit on top on top of the tank. And then what happens is you fill it up with whatever food, whatever food you want to put in it, you just put in there and then you open up this this little section here is just opened up to determine how much how much food you want to have dumped with each rotation, it does a full rotation and, and dumps food into the tank. So you can attach it to the side and put it at any angle you want, or I believe you can, you can remove this bottom piece and, and then just lay it, lay it flat on the aquarium. It, um, it, it requires two, two AA batteries, uh, so you'll need two AA batteries for it. And, uh, it can feed, I believe, up to, I have some of the specs here, and I'll just go over them with you. It, it can feed up to twice, or three times a day, rather, and uh, has good reviews. You know, has over four stars on, uh, on Amazon, and there's a video there you can watch. I'll include a link below, and I'll probably list it in my, in my Amazon store. It, uh, it lists out for $26.99, but there's a box you can check that gives you about 10% off. And you can get it in either this black, black background or a green, a green background. You know, the back can be green or black. And it, you program it in uh, military time. And so, you know, a day is 24 hours, so if you want Two o'clock. It's going to have to be, uh, you know, 1,400 hours for your for your two o'clock feeding. Has uh, 4.3 out of five stars. First came on the market January 26, 2022. Is uh, 6.65 by 4.76 by 3.5 inches. Brand name is A O Y A R A O A O Y O R. It says here the material is glass, but I don't really see any, any uh, glass anywhere on it. And some of the details of it, it's supposed to be very, very quiet. There's a video on Amazon that talks about how quiet it is and uh, shows you how quiet it is. It has three settable feeding times. And you can see in the graphic here that you, you would just set, you know, set your choice very simply by using the up and down arrows and then pressing down where it shows the finger uh, to press down. It's a very, very simple setup. The installation methods are either attached or laying flat and it comes with a, uh, like a little, little sticky pad that you can use, that you can use to 
uh, keep it in place laying flat on the tank. So um, some people don't have the type of tank that would allow them to attach, attach it. Uh, you can use a variety of foods from flake uh, to uh, large pellets, small pellets. Uh, you can use pretty much anything in it because you determine the opening, you know, you, you manually set the opening. The only uh, thing I would be concerned about uh, something like this is, um, is, the, is the two AA batteries uh, as opposed to maybe a unit that plugs in. But a unit that plugs in, you have power outages that can occur. So uh, two AA batteries, I imagine, can last for uh, probably a, few, a couple of weeks of feeding so you probably wouldn't go, you wouldn't go through those batteries. So it comes in at about 26 uh, bucks, but you do get a 10% discount uh, if you click a box before you check out. And um, I believe the shipping is free from Amazon. So it, it, it's, not a bad, it's not a bad deal as far as auto feeders go. It does have a, uh, a warranty. And the, the uh, concern, the only concern I would have is that my experience with companies out of China and warranties, uh, it can be a little bit, a little bit difficult. But you, you, can, you can look at it on, online and decide for yourself. And I would say as a, as a competitor to this item, you would probably have to look at something like the, um, and I always like to put comparisons and competitors, you'd probably have to look at something like the feeder from, um, from Aquarium Co-op. And it also is very, very light. It doesn't really have much substance to it and is actually uh, appears to be a little bit shorter yeah just a the one this is aquarium co-ops and this is AO years and the aquarium co-op is a little smaller and uh, but it looks like the, the the container for holding the food is identical probably made by the same company in China and it, it has the same exact uh, opening on the top for uh, adjusting how much food you you want to feed the uh, you want it to be feeding. So you would just simply uh, adjust this to the size, and, and if you want just a little bit of food, of course you would leave it almost completely closed. And and then if you want more food, you, of course you would leave it more open. But and of course the, it opens up quite a bit to reload the food, which makes that makes that process very easy. Now, uh, the one thing I like uh, more about the Aquarium Co-op model, and as you can see, the programming on it, uh, programming setup is very similar. It is branded with the Aquarium Co-op branding. Um, the, 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 the vice sort of attachment is identical, and it also can be removed so that you can, uh, you can lay it flat, flat on your aquarium. The price point is almost identical uh, with shipping. I think you'll probably pay a little bit more for the Aquarium Co-op model. Uh, the only uh, real advantages of the Aquarium Co-op is that it does have rechargeable batteries. And, and so um, you would simply take, take this little USB and plug it into any, anything, uh, anything that's available that has a USB and uh, there's a little, little, little slot you plug into and the batteries inside of it are rechargeable and can go for a very, very long time. Can do a lot of feedings over, over many, many weeks. And I imagine if you had a USB outlet and left this plugged in, you probably wouldn't have to worry about it. So, uh, you know, running out of juice, it would just simply stay charged up. They're both very, very comparable in build, build quality. Uh, you know, in, in weight, I don't really see um, the aquarium co-op model being uh, much more heavy duty. As a matter of fact, the, the, uh, the unit, the power unit on the uh, AO, or however you pronounce it, seems to be uh, a, little bit, a little bit heftier. And that's probably because you have to, uh, it has the, the compartment here for the batteries. So they have that sort of built in. Whereas the Aquarium Co-op model 
it, it everything is is sort of inside and I don't really see I don't really see anywhere where you would remove anything the batteries are just sort of built into it and really un, un, unreachable untouchable so it's just a rechargeable unit and all you do is 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 plug in your USB and then it goes just goes into a USB port and your I imagine it gives you some some type of sing, signal that you're uh, that you're charged up uh, both units have an auto feed an auto feed function so let's say that you you come down and you want to you want to do an extra feeding that day you would just simply hit the feed button and uh, you you could have an extra feeding that day manually and on this one it doesn't say feed on this one it just has the little wheel that shows you that it will it will do a full rotation and uh, so i think these units are comparable, if not nearly identical, except for uh, the, the, uh, the advantage of rechargeable batteries, which will save you a little bit of money, right, over time, in the aquarium co-op, and, uh, and the extra programmable feeding time, so you get one more programmable per day feeding time with the co-op. And, uh, you know, I, I haven't tried it, so I can't really say, I, I, I can't really say it, it is exactly like this, but I would imagine that if something went wrong, your ability to get assistance and support would probably be a little bit better calling up Aquarium Co-op, speaking to one of their employees and, and getting it sorted out versus um, my experience with companies in China. But all that being said, this looks like a pretty good little unit. And after the 10% discount, uh, for those of you out there who would like to try out, a, uh, a feeder uh, consider this one I'll include some links below and uh, you, you can you can check it out and and make up your mind and I might just uh, I might just fire it up while I'm gone and and see what it does and even though it is last minute I would like to maybe have watched it work for a couple days before I go on vacation uh, or you know or leave so I think I'll what I'll probably do is maybe may, maybe give it a spin uh, figuratively and literally give it a spin when I get back and uh, in the meantime just use my food food in, in plastic packets with dates on them on top of each aquarium and that way it'll make life easy for my wife while I'm gone so at any rate do you have experience with auto feeders and please share your thoughts below I uh, I've never used one I have a uh, some important interaction with my fish when I feed them. So I would be reluctant to go to auto feeders with all my tanks. And I imagine if you have many, many tanks, it would make, it would make a lot of sense. But one of the key things I look for in um, determining how my fish are doing is uh, how they're reacting to food. So uh, I guess I could be down here when the auto feeder is working, but uh, me, dropping, me dropping food in the tank and, and feeding them by hand, by hand is one of the things I really enjoy the most about having fish and the way they attack the food and, and, and also being able to determine their, their, their health by, by you know, how, how voracious, you know, how, how, how much appetite they have. That, that to me is an important indicator. So, so not sure if I'd ever go to all, uh, all auto feeders, but certainly something that could come in handy in a pinch. And uh, I definitely want to hear your thoughts about it comment below and uh, I hope to see you on Saturday at the Cichlids and Coffee live stream that's Saturday normally at 11 a.m. Uh, Central Time that's noon Eastern 9 a.m. Pacific and for those of you who would like to support the channel uh, please go ahead and hit that uh, hit that subscribe the bell and thumbs up let YouTube know something good is going on and also consider a, uh, a monthly contribution through the Patreon program uh, we have a lot of Patreon members now, it's growing, and it really helps with the ongoing expenses of running a channel. All right, thank you, my friends. You are the best. I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.